We are heartbroken. We are in pain right now, having suffered this loss. The city of Buffalo is mourning the loss of one of its own tonight after a worker was hit by a high lift in South Buffalo and killed. Well, tonight flags are at half staff in Niagara Square in honor of the worker who the city calls a long time beloved employee. And this tragic accident happened while city crews were actually working to remove several feet of snow left behind from last week's storm. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has been on the scene for hours and he joins us now with how the city is responding. Rob. Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis on top of those city buildings having their flags lowered to half staff. There are other ways the city is remembering this longtime employee was out here working like many employees across the city for many hours trying to get the snow cleared out for folks in South Buffalo. A bouquet of flowers have been placed in the snowbank along McKinley Parkway right where this tragedy happened. Certainly a nice memory of this individual. The road is quiet now, but just over an hour ago, we saw police drive off with a high lift or front loader on the back of a trailer. Buffalo police say they believe the employee who has not been identified was hit by the same type of construction equipment while that vehicle was backing up after dumping snow into a dump truck. The employee died at the scene. A neighbor who saw what happened telling me tonight it was tragic to watch and no doubt tragic for all the employees who are around them. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia said investigators will be looking at the vehicles involved to make sure they are up to date on inspections and so on. The high lift involved was actually a third party vendor, according to the mayor, and was contracted by the city to help out with snow removal. Police said the driver is cooperating with their investigation. The mayor adding the driver, too, was shocked. We are in pain right now, having suffered this loss. Uh, Accident investigation of the Buffalo Police Department is on scene. Uh, we are still piecing together what occurred. We are going to support uh, the members of the family. Uh, certainly, it is um, any any time for a tragedy like this is is not. Um, there's no good time for a tragedy like this, and, and the holiday just uh, is is a much more difficult moment. Well, collectively, this has been a nonstop effort by the city of Buffalo. When asked about whether lack of sleep played a role in this incident, the mayor said there is no evidence of that, but there is no doubt how early in this investigation that we are uh, that will be looked into uh, after such a long winter storm. Scott, certainly a tragic way to end things. It really is a tragedy. Rob, quick question for you. Is the city making any immediate changes following this accident today? Yeah, it's got citywide. They're actually stopping snow removal and snow plowing until Friday at 7 a.m. They will resume after that, but that is in honor of this employee. And as they, uh, you know, honor this individual, it's certainly something that weighs heavy on a lot of hearts, especially with Thanksgiving tomorrow. Well, that is Reporting for sure. in South Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. All right, Rob, thank you very much. Appreciate your report.